Hey guys, Cole here, back with Watcher of Realms. I hope you're all having a great day. Well, while my team is farming gear A3 on the back end, I'm going to jump onto the test server and we're going to go over the shop within the game, the, the black market as they call it, the Dwarven Association, if I'm going to go with the exact name, okay? Let's jump over to the test server and I wanted to go here and show you guys what I think is the best way to go about buying everything here and what is good to buy or not. Of course, there is some free refreshers every day. There is some paid refreshers with gold and then it gets crazy with gem refreshers right here. On the bottom right, you'll see it. I'm at 80 gems and as I click on this, this will go up and up and up all the way to 400 gems. And after that, it will stop. So I don't really care about gems because I'm on the test server. I have like a million, literally a million gems. So I was doing this to take all uh, the pictures because I'm going to make you a tier list of what to buy and what to, to sell. Instead of talking over, uh, I'd rather just show you on what I think is the best choices to make. So let's jump over to my, uh, the tier list maker. This is like a website where you make a uh, tier list, right? It's pretty Pretty basic as I'm gonna be talking about I couldn't get screenshots of every single thing so please please make sure that you follow through with the video because I will be talking about some things that have alternatives that will show up within the market and you need to be careful of okay so we have uh, I would say some of the must buys within this game the must buys are some things such as the summons which I couldn't I couldn't get the summons to pop out uh, for you guys to see, but maybe we'll we'll get it through now with some refreshers. But let's let's continue on with what we have and uh, we'll see where this goes. So huge stamina potion. This is the 200 stamina, right? For 45 gems. Usually for 200 stamina, you need to spend 60 gems. So uh, when you get lucky, if you get lucky, you'll see this popping out, right? You'll see this popping out for the very solid price of 45, maybe sometimes it's 48, uh, sometimes it's, I think, 40 at a 40% discount, I think this is the highest you can see. And the discounts that you'll see within the shop are not guaranteed. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So with that in mind, please make sure that uh, you, you take a second glance before you buy something, and especially some of the things that I'll be talking about. So. Mythic gear, should you be buying mythic gear? This depends a lot where you are within the game. Um, it takes a while to unlock mythic gear for you to see mythic gear. I would consider an okay purchase to be buying weapons and chess pieces of certain sets, such as the HP set, maybe the healing set. Those are okay if you really want to get your healers going or your tanks going. You don't need a lot of those pieces. You can buy them out, and the only gamble with these is the sub stats. So the main stat of a weapon will always be attack, and the main stat of a chest piece will always be health. So you're just gambling. So whether you're going to get an HP percent in the sub stats so that you can roll it for your tank or your healer. For damage dealers, this can go the same way, but it also depends on the set. The set, I mean, you wouldn't buy a healing set here and hoping to use it on a damage dealer, right? It might even have some good substats, which we cannot see when we're buying the gear. So you're really gambling with these items. And especially if it's a ring or an amulet or a bangle, you're gambling a lot with those and it you have to be very careful. Um, sometimes this will not be on a discount. You can get epics and you can get rares when you're first starting out. These are not worth it a lot. Maybe if you're looking for a very, very specific set, you want to complete a set when you're starting out, then maybe yes. But gold is, is the scarcest resource within the game, I would say, other than the, the legendary crystals, okay? It's, it's one of the most difficult ones to acquire if you are free to play. If you are a spender, nothing is really hard to acquire as long as you got the money, right? So um, I wouldn't say be buy the gear uh, that you'll see, especially if it's not on a discount, if it's epic gear. The legendary gear and the mythical ones become okay, and it depends where you are. You always need to double check on the sets, and the sets are all of the, all of the sets that you can get within the game, except for the sets that you get from 19, 20, and 21 of the dungeons, the gear dungeons, right? The gear raids. So... With that in mind, the, the gear sets are, I would say, okay, but um, 
I put them on the no category, especially the legendary epics and rares, because these will be replaced very, very quickly with all mythical gear. You can start farming mythical gear very soon, and it's the only gear that is really worth it, to be honest, and can be leveled up all the way to 16, which again requires like 600,000 gold, the minimum, I would say. Um, if you're very lucky, of course, that will be lower, but I would say uh, be very careful when you buy it. Again, mythical is okay, but I could even drop it on the depends category uh, just to be more strict. I would say it's okay only for weapons and chess pieces when you know you're not going to be farming a lot of that specific um, that specific dungeon. Let's say gear rate one, you, you're kind of okay. You want to focus more on gear rate three. You can start buying up some of these just to get your healers going and stuff. But it's it's by no means a, a necessary purchase. After that, uh, we go on, let's say, to the, the other stamina thing that I always buy myself. I always buy this one. It, it is the kind of the same price as this one because if you double this, then it's 48 gems for 200 energy. This is the exact pretty much same as this one. If this was 25%, it would be the same ratio, all right? So I, I find these to be the same value, although this you can store. This one you have to use immediately pretty much if you want to stay under the limit of energy that we have within the game. So with that in mind, these two are kind of the best things to buy within the game plus the summons. And I would say, um, honestly, I would say there's one more stamina refresh here, which it's very hard for me to find when I'm refreshing. Sometimes it pops out. It's the small stamina potion needed for 60. Um, no, it's 20, 20 gems for 60 energy. That is, um, that is, yeah, it's 20 gems for 60 energy. That is by far not a good investment. You won't see that on discount. Very rarely you'll see it on a discount. Usually it's just there as a way for you to be inefficient with buying. So I would say do not buy that, um, that small stamina refresh. It's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Um, but we'll see. Uh, what other things I do buy is... Um, two stars. I always buy the two stars. The one stars, it really depends on how much XP you're farming. If you're farming a lot of XP, you'll see that you, you get these, the two stars and the one stars. So you, you should be okay. But if you are somebody who's spending a little bit more, especially on energy, you'll even need the one stars. But I put the one stars on the okay category and especially the two stars. If they are on a discount, just buy them out. It, it saves you a little bit of XP in the long term and it is really worth it. But I, I, kind of buy myself the one stars as well because I level up food all the time and the uh, leveling up events that pop out within the game give very solid rewards with legendary crystals in the end and you want to get those whenever possible um, so maybe even put this on the buy category but for me it's on the buy category for somebody else maybe the one stars is not something that they purchase the auto fights is also something that I do purchase myself uh, I find them as a buy tier because I do use a lot of auto fights. If you are not a big spender, if you're not a spender at all, these will be of basically no use to you because you won't have that much energy or gems to use for energy so much. But you will find yourself, I guarantee you will find yourself sometimes you want to have those extra auto fights. Okay, since this is the only way we can repetitively farm within the game, um, these can be worth it. But again, these are very expensive. It's like 4,000 gold per run, which is basically what you get from an item if you sell it. So you are just running for the sake of it. You're, you're gonna be using those sort of fights for the sake of it. Maybe you'll get something good out of these. In terms of gold that you get back, it's it's gonna be very little the gold that you get back because it, it, it's gonna be costing you 4,000 per run and you're gonna get maybe six or seven thousand now with the with the boost to the gold selling maybe this is worth it a little bit more so uh with that in mind maybe put this there in terms of the auto fights for gems right um some of some of the times you'll see gems as a purchase price for these things especially that it's never going to be worth it so no god no and that that is where i put these this is not worth it for me uh 15 gems can i but can i get 40,000 gold with 15 gems. Um, I don't think I can get so much gold with 15 gems. Maybe if I do the gold raid and uh, have a gold boost on at the same time, I can get that amount of gold, but I do not think the gems are worth it. You'll eventually get some for gold. So 
I put this in the no god uh, territory. The same thing with these, right? These, these insignias, do not buy them. Uh, maybe, maybe for the epic ones, it depends on which one you're farming or the promotion rates. But I would put it on the no category, uh, on the verge of no and depends for the epic ones. The rare ones, please no, do not buy them. You will not need so many. Sometimes you'll see them for gold. When you see them for gold, it can be argued that you can use them, but most of the time you'll have enough of these to not really worry about it since you only need them for the first upgrade. Most of the time you're going to be upgrading epics and higher. The rares, um, I think they need more of the blue ones, but again, you won't see it. Um, this is by far the worst investment of gold. Do not ever buy mythic extracts for gold, even for gems. The mythic extracts you will need for a six star, Okay, it's gonna be for a legendary six star, it's gonna be four mythic extracts, which means either with that price that we see here, 1600 gems, which is insane. No, 1200 gems, which is insane. S same insanity as uh, 1600. Yeah, never buy them. Even if you see them at the 300,000 gold price, do not buy them ever. Please no. And uh, do not make that mistake. That is absolutely a new player trap to use up their gems. For something that they can farm this can be farmed very easily from the material raid the um, promotion material raid for one every 10 runs or so you're gonna run out of heroes eventually that you need to promote so these will start stacking up and you'll have many of those those will also be given out by some events or tournaments and with that in mind please do not go out of your way to use your gems for this one Cuke is an exception to using up your gems. If you do not have a cuke yet, you just have the most insane bad luck within the game. If for some reason you don't have cuke, buy him once. This is a one time, one time thing that you buy, okay? After you buy him, after you have one cuke, you don't need more. So I can't put him there just for the sake of somebody watching this. They skip through the whole video and they say, oh, cuke is a must buy. Cold brew is insane. All right, guys, please. No, I'll, I'll I'll put him in the no category. All right, like, no God, no. But if you don't have one yet, just buy one. You'll get one eventually. You get one just randomly. But he usually is in the no God, no territory. All right. And if we jump back on um the uh, test server, I wanna I wanna just do some refreshes so we, maybe we can find the other things that I was looking for. I I thought to do the refreshes on offline like not recording but i wanted to still refresh and show you guys how insane this cost goes up to even on the test server there we go okay there's the rare summoning I'll, I'll i'll put that on the uh i'll put this on the tier list as well right now let's do another refresh maybe we'll find something else there's a huge stamina potion as well like i would be buying these if i was on the actual server but i don't need them on the test server for anything and you'll see, like, we, we see some legendary insignias now for gold. These are okay, I mean, to buy them. These are going to be useful for promotions. And it depends on where you are with your gold, if you will buy them every single time that you see them, okay? And look at that. We get into the 300 gold territory. There it is. There is, there is the, the, the other um, ba bad purchases that you can make here. The legendary extra good thing. I'm on the test server, so I can actually make a complete tier list for you guys. And now I'm out of refreshes uh, after so many gems spent. I'm out of refreshes and basically run out. But you see how, how good this can be and how bad this can possibly be. For a new player, they can get confused by both seeing gem prices and gold prices. So um, let, let's see if I can update this for uh, just a second. So uh, let's add the rare summonings here on the top. I place them. I place them here on the top. Of course, this is the number one purchase. They will always be at a discount, so 20% all the way to 40%. I think is the highest discount I've ever seen. I've seen uh, one summon for 40 gems. It's very, very rare for it to happen. They don't seem to have a limit, but always buy them, please. It makes sense, right? It makes sense. You'll you'll summon them anyway. So might as well buy them when they're on a discount. Legendary extracts. If there was, if I could do a, an even worse tier than this, I would have done it already. So this goes as as even below Q. Q makes sense the first time. These make sense none of the times. Same thing with mythic extracts. This makes sense none of the times. Small stamina potion. As I've said, I've never seen this on a discount. 
If this was ever discounted, it would make sense. But the small stamina potion is 60 gems, uh, six, 60 stamina for 20 gems. So 180 for 60, which is 200 for 60 normally. So this is like a, I think they wanted to introduce some discounts of this one, but they didn't. And that is maybe like a bug or or something in the game right now that it's just a little bit annoying for me. But I put the small stamina potions also in the no category. If you're somebody who's crazy enough to just buy them just to have them, um, again, I don't see the point because you just, just save your gems. Like, so it still goes to the no god, no territory. Um, this is the tier list, guys. In terms of the auto fights, I'll put them on a, it's okay because this is more of a personal preference. But most of the time, this will be this will be i think the best way to to buy stuff within the game um i want to see your opinions down below share your thoughts and wisdom as you guys might be more veteran players than me but i do think i have a good grasp at least of the market because i i'm spending my currencies right i, I don't want to spend them like a madman this was the video for today thank you all for watching subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. See ya.